Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Draw. In this module, I want to show you how you can quickly create a professional looking flowchart using the tools within LibreOffice Draw. So first of all, on the screen is a blank diagram ready to be used. Where you need to go is on the right hand side, you've got some tools, some icons down here. And this one says gallery in gallery if you click on that this will open up a series of options i'll just make that a bit bigger and you can see there at the top it's arrows you've got bpmn diagram icons you've got bullets and then you've got diagrams generally lots of really good business diagrams there flow chart is where i want to go if i just come down a bit further to show you the all the other ones you've got icons You've got network shapes, if you want to use network shapes, and then just general shapes, pretty shapes. But we're going on to flowchart, and this is how you do it. So you've got a series of well-known flowchart icons. First one there is start and end, so you click on that, and you drag it onto the screen, and you position it where you want it to be. Now you can get rid of whatever's in there as default text. I'll just put begin, like so. And then you've got processes and uh, decisions and things like that. And these connector lines that you can utilize. So I'll just pull a process on underneath like so. There's a process. Bring it down a little bit. And again, I'm going to change the label. I'll call this induction. So induction. And then I want to connect these two together with a connector tool. So these are the tools you've got. I'm going for this one. I'll just drag this on. And then you basically position this so it connects to each shape so you see the shape icons there Get that little circle at the end and pull that across to connect onto that one and then maybe move the shape across until you can get it as, as level as you can now that's snapping either side so probably need to just try and shift this one okay it's not having it so I'm not going to stress out too much about getting that to be exact oh there we go now it's exact now I want another shape a decision coming out underneath of that and then um, a connector line coming down straight away just drag that on put it onto this shape and then spin that round to the decision like so and then so you can mess about getting that straight straight away this time now this is a yes no decision um, I'll just call it um, docs correct and then you can have a yes carry on so I'll just come down a little bit and the process underneath that bring that process in line and come down a little bit with that and the connector tool going down but then I want a connector tool coming across keep not dragging that so make sure you drag it onto the page like so now I want a connect to, so this is the yes, I want a yes here, so I'm going to type yes, so that's going down, I'll move this down a little bit so there's a bit more space, yes, and then I want a process over here, like so, which is, I'll call it review, you're going to review the process, so I want a line to come to that connection, and just click on that and push it to the end there. So this is the no root, if you like, and then that needs to just come onto here. I can pick that up onto that connection point. Let's move this up a little bit. So it snaps in its place. Just probably just drag that down so I can get it to snap. Okay, it's not going to snap. Let's try and move this down a little bit. Yeah, got it. So this is the no, if I double click on that and put no, not nine, no. And then I want the line to come out of this back to induction, so they're just going back again. I'm going to use this elbow connector there, so I'll click on that one, bring it into position, and then stick it onto this end there, like so. Pick up the point of that, take it back up to the induction, so this is like a circle. And then if you want, you could just pull that out a little bit to make it out a bit more. And that's the circle you've created there. And I'll just bring the end shape on there to finish it off. That's the end of the process. 
and I'll just leave that as start and end, add a line like so, and then just connect that up. And the idea with these connections is if you move any shape, they will all stay connected. So just move that till it straightens up. Process, I'll call that employ. So that's employ, and then that's the end. So that one is just going to say end of the process. End. Now, that's the whole flow chart. Just bring that down a little bit so you can see it, like so. Now, you've got the options of pages down here. If I right click, you can have a new page. I'll click new page, and then I've got page two. And what you can do there is there is a, a feature here called off page reference. If I just click on that shape and bring that onto here, you can create a hyperlink on this to page two and to a particular shape on page two as well. So if I just leave it like that for now and go up to insert hyperlink, when this box comes on the screen, I'll just make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. You've got options for the internet, email, document is what I want there. And then tag it in document, that's this one. So I'm clicking on that and it's just going to show me page two. So I'm just going to click on page two um, and I'll do it again with, with an icon on page two. I'll just apply that and click OK and then just go on to page two and I'll draw, I'll draw one on page two to come back onto the main page. So I'll click on that. So insert hyperlink document click on this little target and then this comes up so this is going to be page one and then you've got all the different processes so i'll click on the start and end one apply that and then close this box click ok and then that should now be a hyperlink now if i click on that what should happen is i should hold my control key down i'll get a hand now it's not doing it but i'm going to save this because the few times that i have done this it's all about I'll just call it flow it works when you save it and come off it and then not straight off so these are hyperlinks but they're not jumping at the moment so i'll just leave it for a little while to see if it comes on yeah that should be a hand coming there with the control key down it should actually tell you if i go back into it insert just make sure it's still on there i haven't lost it document i have lost it okay um so I'll go start, end, apply, apply, OK. And then now I've got the hand. Hold the control key down. There's the hand. Click and it comes onto there. So that one's probably lost it as well. Just click onto that. Insert. Hyperlink. Document. It's same page two there. OK. Um, but I'm not getting the hand on this one. But let's not dwell on that. It does it does eventually work. So you've got two pages and you've got an off-page reference there. And I need to get rid of this bits and bobs of text. Now you can actually create layers if you come down to the bottom there. So this is a layer. You're on the first one. But if I right click down here, you've got insert layer. So you can have I'll just leave it as layer four, but you can name it and give a description. I'm not going to lock it just yet, but I'll click OK. And then I'm just going to bring a shape on onto layer four, so sub process. Now, if I go back onto the first page, that's still there, and I can move it around. But if I go onto layer four, right click on that, and click on modify, you can actually lock that. Click on lock, and then OK. Now, if I go back onto this one. I can't actually move that because it's on that other it's on that layer. These are still clickable. I can still move these around. But that one is on that layer. I can't actually do that. If I want to knock that back off, I need to modify layer, go into lock un take the tick off locked, okay, and then I can then move it on that first layer. So you can actually layer a document if you so wish. Now, if you want to colour any of these shapes in, I'll click on this one and just show you over right in the corner, very tiny icons, you've got line colour. So I click on line. This is the line colour. So I'll just pick red for now. Red. You've got the um, 
preview of that at the bottom and you can change any of these items if it's an arrow it's not an arrow I'm using the box but if I click OK to that you can see that it will put that on there and then if I click on the icon next to it which says area very small icon and very insignificant where that is you've got the option now to change this to a color the whole thing if I click OK to that you can see that I've changed that color and if I go back into it there are a few of the features in there. You've got um, the option there to do gradient, image, pattern, hatch. I'll go for gradient because there's some preset ones here. I'll go for that one. That's what it's going to look like. You've got these other colors. I'll go for this one, I think. And then you can just um, change any of these options that you so wish. If you don't like the way it is, you can change it. Ellipsoid. I've never even heard of that word before, but there you go. That's what that looks like. If I click OK to that, it puts it on there. So that's just a very quick video on how you can create a simple flow chart in LibreOffice Draw. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.